Hi, it's Alaska Granny. As preppers, we need to be aware of what's going on in the world so that we can plan for an uncertain future. Are you aware that there are still supply chain challenges? There are lots of things going on in the world that affect the transportation, the availability of all of the goods that we count on having. Everything from food to electronics to all of the even fertilizer that goes into producing the food that we count on having. We know that there's a rising cost of living. Items can be difficult to find and sometimes they become unaffordable even if they're available as our uh, budget becomes tighter then the price of those items becomes something we can't afford. That's something to think about is the Christmas holiday season is coming and people like to shop for gifts things might be in shorter supply or so expensive and then we can't afford to have the amount of things that maybe we desire or have been able to provide in the past. So it's something to think about budgeting for the things, the gifts, the food, all of the accoutrements that you enjoy for the holiday season. The time is here that if we haven't planned and budgeted ahead, it may be more challenging. So if you still have some special food items that you care to pick up, see if you can find them now before everybody rushes out at the last minute to look for their holiday meal items. Some of the things you can buy ahead of time, you can put them in the freezer or put them in your pantry and have them for the holiday season. Some of those items you might also want to have a few extras on hand if it's something like say a can of yams or sweet potatoes because it can last for quite a while and we don't have to eat them just on Thanksgiving or Christmas. Maybe you'd like to enjoy them at other times too. If you can find a food item that you enjoy and it's at an affordable price, maybe it's a good time to pick up one or two extras to add into your prepper pantry and your food storage stockpile. It also might be a good idea to have that hard talk with members of your family that maybe the budget is not going to allow for expensive gifts this year and let's really think about what really matters to us as a family, what do we really want to have those holidays mean and maybe limit your list and your desires of what you hope to receive and make things that are meaningful and still affordable. Labor unrest are also making the supply chain have issues. We know all across America people are wanting higher wages but this is a global thing as well. Truckers have been going on strike in South Korea which we know a lot of our electronics products come from South Korea so if there's a trucker strike there that's going to affect the ability to have those kind of, uh, those kind of products that we like to enjoy. Then there's also been a rail strike in the UK and that's going to also hamper the supply chain issue of getting all of the goods out to everybody who would like them. Dock workers in Germany have gone on strike and we know that there have been truck driver shortages all over the place. We're always hearing that everybody needs more people to work. Where are the workers? Please come apply. And for some reason those jobs and those calls for workers go unanswered. Next we need to think about the energy crisis. There are still reduced supplies of gasoline and the prices have gone up. I thought they would have gone up far more dramatically once there became a war in Israel and Gaza but that was surprisingly has not happened but I expect that to in the future. There have also been shortages of electricity in places like China. Some of the factories have had to close down because they don't have the energy to keep the factories open and that includes everything from car assembly plants to electronics manufacturing. So that's also going to impact the supply chain globally. There has also been shortages of fertilizer. For example, Norway has had a tremendous cutback in their fertilizer which means that they can't grow as much food. And that's not the only country but it's one that's been in the news lately. Then if you look at the geopolitical problems, everything that's ongoing from Ukraine and Russia to new uprisings in Israel and Gaza to the threats that continue between China and Taiwan, nobody really knows what the future holds as far as peace in our world and learning to work together. So that's something that is extremely concerning and we want to keep an eye out on that so that we're aware of where the world is going, what things could become in short supply because they're not able to be transported because of the supply chain problems. 
drought has been ongoing for a long time, even in some places that had crazy wet weather, but then maybe the water ran off, or maybe then the summer became too hot. All over Europe there have been droughts, then the waterways are not able to transport the barges and ships as they would expect at full capacity. So that's something that we don't even think about when we're at our home, about what's going on somewhere else in the world, and we just imagine that the ships are just being loaded and brought to where we need our things, but that's having a lot of impact of problems because of drought. And then if you look at just the hurricane season, we've already had some crazy hurricanes and hurricane season still has a long way to go and that's going to affect a lot of things as well. What can we do as preppers that we can prepare for supply chain challenges going forward? Well first of all inventory the supplies that you do have. Figure out what you need more of or what's missing completely and try to make a list and a plan for when you can gather those items so that you'll have them. The more food we have on hand, the easier it could be in the future because not only can we eat that food anytime, but it can also become more expensive that it'll be harder to afford those foods. So putting aside some food today gives you insurance in the future that you will have that food already. And the harder and tighter and more restricted our budgets become, the even more difficult it's going to be to provide the food for your family. So if you look at the sales, look for bargains, figure out how to actually use up every bit of food that you buy. Try not to waste anything because every spoonful of food that you throw away is a few cents you're tossing out. So if we plan to use the leftovers, not just shove them in the refrigerator, plan to disguise them. Something I used to do when my kids were little is on Friday evening, we'd get out all the leftovers and we'd get little plates and we'd have hors d'oeuvres and we'd have little bits and bites of everything, little tasting platters. And it was special because nobody was getting a whole big serving of one thing. Everybody was getting a few little bites and nibbles of a whole array of things. And the kids used to think, oh, this smorgasbord, this is kind of fun. It made it more interesting than just saying, oh, we're having leftovers again. They saw it as an adventure. You can also save up little tiny bits of vegetables and leftover meat or broth. Even keep a container in your freezer and add those in. And then when the container gets full, you can make it into a nice big pot of soup or stew. There's different ways to use up your leftovers. You just have to plan not to make too much, but try to maybe organize your meals so that you make enough or that you've planned for the leftovers and that you at least have a plan not to waste the leftovers. Let us know in the comments below, how are you dealing with the supply chain issues, with the rising prices, with the shortages that we're still encountering, and what are you finding are ways to have solutions to some of the ongoing problems that we have in our world. I hope you'll like my video, share my video, and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.